So hello everyone, happy Monday. In today's video we're going to find, dynamically find our header row and then we're going to promote it in just a few steps. So let's get started. Okay, so this is very, very common when importing Excel files. In my case, I have my header row on column five, but you know, depending on who is filling in the Excel form or whatever it is, format it is, this might change. If you are importing PDFs, it could change also depending on the information that it is, if it is an address, you know the drill. So how do we do this? Okay, this is what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is add an index column. Uh, once we have that, we need to tell Power Query that, hey, it is at the moment, it is on column four, but maybe it is on column five. But I am actually going to find the column header by one of the name of the columns. In this case, I'm going to grab a company name. It could be something else. So I'm going to have Power Query help me write the M code. What I'm going to do is I am going to filter by company name. So we have half of the code written for us. And now, watch this. We don't want to filter that row, obviously, even that, that that's basically telling us what it is. What we want to do, look if I write the column index there, it actually returns a list with the row number, which is row number four. If I write it like that, Check it out. It gives us a number four, which is starting to look something that we want. So now we know where that column is. Let me show you. If I go back here and then I add another blank row, this should say column five. So you see it's working. It's dynamically identifying where column name is and giving us the row number. So the next step, what we're going to do is, as we would do normally, we're going to do table skip. But we're going to do it on the step, on the added index step, not on the filter row step. So we're going to go one step backwards. So we're going to add it index. And the number of rows that we want to skip is whatever number the filter row step returns. In this case, it's five. And there you have it. How cool is this? And then you just go use rows as first. Others. And now you can actually add as many rows as you want below here, and it will give you all the information you see there. Or you can add as many rows as you want in, in the middle, and it will still find your header and promote it correctly. Oh, how cool is that? If you want to know how to visualize the invisible, I have published, I published last week a video on my second YouTube channel about data visualization. So I'm going to show it here. So go and check it out. Okay. I will see you again on Wednesday with another Power BI video. Let's see what it is. So until then, take care. Bye bye.